Congratulations, you popped orders to Germany. You're gonna need wheels to get around, so first things first. Figure out whether bringing your vehicle over is feasible and financially logical. Parking spaces in road lanes in Germany are comparatively smaller than their American counterparts, so think twice before you bring that Boeing Super Crew Cab turbine-powered pickup truck over. There are used cars for sale over here, but you best learn how to drive a stick shift. If you do decide to bring over your POV, you're going to want to run a pretty extensive pre-flight checklist before doing so. Let's give you a look at that. So are you ready for inspection checklist? Yeah, inspection checklist, please. First aid kit, check co-pilot. Pilot. Window tint, removed co-pilot. Pilot. Windshield, free of chips and cracks, co-pilot. Pilot. Brakes. Pilot. Turn signal color, position intensity. Pilot. Tires, at least 1.6 millimeters of tread co-pilot. Pilot. Fluids, no leaks co-pilot. Pilot. Ground clearance, at least 10 centimeters co-pilot. Pilot. Headlights, aimed correct color co-pilot. Pilot. Exhaust smoke, no excessive blue or black. Exhaust noise, less than 95 decibels co-pilot. Pilot. Inspection checks are complete co-pilot. Inspection checks are complete. The 569th U.S. Forces Security Police Squadron's Vehicle Registration Office has a handy checklist you can access at ramstein.af.mil. Let's take a look. You're going to need a use or driver's license to drive here, which you can get at Ramstein's MPF building. Get your insurance squared away while your vehicle's in transit. Ask your current policyholder if they have a military in Europe policy available. Whether they do or do not, shop around. If your insurance company can electronically submit your proof of coverage, then great. If not, you'll need to bring in your insurance confirmation card as well as your user driver's license, your military ID. You'll need to bring in proof of ownership, which can be a title or registration from the states. You'll need to bring in $30 paid in check money order or by credit card. And if your vehicle's financed, you need to bring authorization to ship it overseas from the lien holder. More information about shipping as well as guidelines and specific references can be found on the ramstein.af.mil website here. How you set up your mailbox? Can you send things to yourself?